Hello again, everybody. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Scott Steele in the Weather Center. Check it out. Your weather headlines. Another great day we had across southeastern Wisconsin, but it looks like a little bit of wet weather will be rolling our way around a rain while most of us are sleeping tonight into tomorrow, especially in the morning hours. But it turns out Friday should be a fine finish to the work week with plenty of sunshine returning, cooler and drier air again. Unfortunately, it will not last. Looks like rather wet weather in time for the weekend. Not complete washout Saturday and Sunday, but certainly you'll want to have the umbrellas handy. Going into the record books on this date, the high 68 degrees, 51 was the low. That's below where we should be significantly, but keep in mind, we're down in the east side of town. Inland locations were well into the 70s. The normal 76 and 58, and the records 94 degrees set back appropriately enough in 1994. And 43 degrees, the record low set back in 1972. Here's a look at some of our neighborhood high temperatures. And again, cooler along the lake because of an easterly component to the wind. So 69 degrees in Racine couldn't even make it 70 there. 68 in Milwaukee did make it above 70 degrees in Kenosha. 74 degrees there. Upper 70s to near 80 degrees throughout Jefferson County. Also portions of Walworth County. 78 degrees the high in Watertown, 77 in Beaver Dam, and almost 80 degrees for you fine folks who join us in Fondy. Here's a look at future forecast, our computer model, and notice there's a little wave, a trough of low pressure extending off the low pressure center to our west. That's spreading a little bit of precipitation up to our north, but we've got a lot of dry air here at the surface, so anything that approaches us will kind of begin to fall apart. As we set this in motion, as low pressure tracks a little closer to us, we'll see some light shower activity, and perhaps we may hear a couple cracks of thunder overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Then high pressure races eastward, takes control of our weather in time for Friday, ushering in that cooler Canadian air mass once again, and plenty of sunshine as well. Let's zoom into southeastern Wisconsin, show you a closer up view. And here come those showers in time for tomorrow morning. We may have a couple heavier downpours again early in the day with perhaps a couple cracks of thunder. Then as we go through the day, I think things improve with some breaks in the clouds from time to time and clearing out nicely for the end of the work week on Friday with an abundance of sunshine around the area. If you're traveling around the Badger State tomorrow, well, you may want to have the umbrella handy, especially in the eastern third of the state for the morning hours. Otherwise, kind of a mix of sun and clouds, breaks of sun developing as we head into the afternoon as temperatures build nicely back into the 70s for all of us. So your storm team forecast for tonight, expect to see partly to mostly cloudy and mild conditions. Temperatures down to near 60 degrees. A few showers of storms again overnight while most of us are in bed. And then for tomorrow morning, looks as though we'll see some lingering morning showers, perhaps a crack of thunder, but breaks of sun amidst a good deal of cloudiness in the afternoon and warmer up to 76. Here comes your Storm Team 4 seven day forecast. Beautiful conditions on Friday and then a rather wet weekend ahead with showers and storms possible on Saturday and Sunday.